Hi, I'm Chris from CodeReviewVideos.com and in this series we're going to look at how we can add in pagination, filtering and sorting to the various implementations that we created in the previous series which was the React, Angular and Symfony series. So we're going to add in pagination, filtering and sorting to the Twig implementation then we're going to add it into the API which is going to allow us then to add it into our Angular 1.5 and React 15 examples. To give you a quick overview of what we're about to build, we've got pagination now down at the bottom so we can paginate between the, the various pages and this little box here should figure out what rows are available or how many rows are available and then create the, the relevant amount of boxes for us. This is all done server side as I'll explain in a sec. So we've got pagination, we can filter so maybe we want to filter anything that's just got SD in there and again another page reload and when we've done that we can also sort the rows as well so you had to click the first time because the first time it's going to try and sort it ascending as you can see at the top second time it's going to do descending and then it'll just alternate between the two you can do it on title or row and that should also work depending on the, if, if you've got extra rows in the table then it should also be able to uh, to filter down so maybe if I put a limit on as well so a limit of say equals four then you can see the pagination has sort of sorted itself out and when we start trying to muck around with this I think it was SD so if I also put the limit on at the top the, the limits not really built in as such but you can see there that the pagination works for limited results and and so on and then as you can see it all still fits together now all that's happening on the server side and that's an important distinction to make really whether you want to do this client side or server side depends entirely on your personal circumstances i'd say if you're out there on the internet then probably try and do as much of it server side as possible just because sending potentially large amounts of data over the wire um, multiple times may be completely crazy depending on your use case also if you're on a lan or it's a it's in a business system then this is more of something that, that's a bit arbitrary really you can do it client side or server side in my opinion it all depends entirely on your circumstances anyway that's the demo let's get on with actually doing the implementation